horrendous night, the night of the 29th of March, 1857. The schooner Trevornant was heading for Swansea with a cargo of copper ore, but bracing itself for a fierce storm. Batten down the hatches! Turn the bow end on! Bend in the mainsail and hoist the jib! But as the storm worsened, the dark choppy sea grew more and more fierce, charging at the ship and battering her hell like a mad and rhinoceros. from one side of the deck to the other, and they struggle to get upright again before the next wave attack. Unbeknown to any of them, there was worse to come. Off the coast of Tuscor, a sandbank lay in wait, lurking beneath the waves like a mighty sea monster waiting to devour them. The groaning timbers signalled the end for the Tavonans. Help! Help! You hit the sandbank! Hang on, boys! We're all gonna die! Help! Help me! How fake, lad! Someone will see us! It's too dark! No one will see us from the shore! Now the sailors watched in horror as the boat began to fill with water and sink further beneath the waves. We're sinking fast! She's had it! She's breaking up! She's breaking up! they could do was cling on for dear life. They felt sure their last moments had come. How far are we from land? Climb up the brigand lads, it's our only chance. Up to the top mast. We'll die in this water for sure. Their hearts pounded as they clung to the map with all their courage and might. It's pointless. We are lost. We are always lost. What choice do we have, man? Lash yourselves, my boys. We can hang on till daybreak. Someone will see us, please God. It was the worst night of their lives. Frozen, weak and battered by the wind and waves, they hung helpless from their own mass. By break of day, although they had prayed for salvation, they'd all but given up. But what the sailors in their miserable state didn't realise was that they had indeed been spotted on the beach. Four brave volunteers were battling their way to the churning skiff in their tiny rescue boat to try and save them. Look, here they are against the top mark. Four of them. We're on our way to you. Hang on in there. We can do this. Everyone stay calm. We must work together. But how do we get closer in this terrible sea? Heave, men, heave. The rescuers battled on for hours and hours. Each time they got close enough to attempt to rescue, the waves threw them back towards the shore. Row faster. Here comes another wave. Keep her steady. Do you think we can do this? I don't know. It's no good. We're going to have to turn back. But we're the only hope. Courage, lads. Now a new danger became apparent. 
tide was coming in and the drones began to sink once more. She's sinking! They're gonna go under with her! Quickly, grab the rat lines! It's our last chance! You got them, Jamie? I've got them, boss! Hold tight, John! He too, George! At the last possible moment, perhaps just seconds before the sailors disappeared beneath the crashing waves, the rescuers managed to grab the rat lines and hoist them exhausted onto their boat. By now, the survivors had been lashed to the wreck of the Dravonans for 16 miserable hours and were in a terrible state. Three, by some miracle, lived, but the sea, as though sensing that the bigger battle was lost this day, snatched one sailor's body from the rescuer's grip and dragged him beneath the waves to his death. Later, the rescuers, all local men, James and Thomas Pierce, John Jones, and George Clark were all awarded the RNLI Silver Medal and a sum of money for their courage. Well done, lads. We're very proud of all of you. Listen. All must learn respect for the sea. We have seen it as flat as a pancake one minute and like a roaring lion the next. This is what our parents say to us. Never underestimate the power of the sea. Change in the morning, though the storm rage and rain can.